right, uh, Christmas Day here in St. John, New Brunswick, on the east coast of Canada. I'm taking a drive out to my son's place to see his, my son and his wife. And uh, as you can see, there's really no snow around. That's not to say other places in Canada aren't having snow. Uh, my sister lives in Ottawa, our nation's capital, and they have about a foot of snow. And I got a nephew and his wife and kids out in Edmonton, Alberta, and they've got two or three feet of snow already. So, some places in Canada, yes, it's a winter wonderland, but here, sorry to say, it's not. So I'm on the highway here, which normally would be packed with all kinds of vehicles, and there's a few ahead of me, but it's very little travel right now. Nobody's out. Everybody might be home. I'm wrapping the graphs and presents and having a great time. Okay, I came off the highway here. I'm just turning down this road, and now we turn on to this one. This is the street my son lives on. Oh, look at that. There's a little bit of snow right there. Something that lingered on. It's not overly cold for winter, but it's cold enough. Uh, today, it's about minus 4 Celsius. So that would be probably high 20s if you're into uh, Fahrenheit. Anyways, I'm going to pull into their driveway up here. So I'm going to shut the camera off. All right, I just left my son's place there. A yeah, nice visit, something neat. Ahead of us is the Kennebec Cases River. And I see it has a skim of ice on it. Let's just take a little drive over and see what it looks like. The uh, bedroom community or suburb, whatever you want to call it, is outside of the city. Uh, actually, it's big enough to be called a town. It's the town of Rosse. It is quite picturesque in the summertime when the trees are all. Oh, look at this! A couple of deer on the side of the road here. As a matter of fact, uh, my son and his wife, I think they have about a half an acre or maybe a little better than half an acre of land behind them. That's their property. And there's still a lot of woods there. He, doesn't, he didn't cut the woods all down. They got grass in the front yard, but he left the, the backyard fairly foresty. And uh, they have about seven or eight deer that stay there all year round. There's plenty of food in the neighborhood. They love raiding the gardens and there's natural food for them. Uh, so there's lots there for them to eat. Coming up to what is called the Rossi Commons.
crossed in from the town of Rossi into the town of Quispam Sis. Uh, 15, maybe 16 years ago, before I got divorced. Uh, I used to live out here in Quispam Sis with my wife. Uh, we had the typical two story, two car attached garage, four bedrooms upstairs, kitchen, living room, dining room, family room two and a half baths you know the typical suburban life actually I don't miss it don't have to cut the grass no more and don't have to shovel snow so this is the heart of their business district right here our famous Tim Hortons you wouldn't be a true Canadian if you didn't drink Tim Horton's coffee. I no longer stop at the coffee shop to buy it. Uh, when we had the uh, lockdowns last year, I just got used to uh, getting my own coffee and brewing it at home. So I no longer stop at the coffee shop. I haven't. I can't remember the last time I've been to a coffee shop to buy a coffee. I just, I just make it at home myself. This is the old neighborhood before I got divorced and had to leave. She got the house. I mean, I guess I got a cash settlement. I got some stuff, you know, but I, I left her with the house. And it was my second marriage. She had kids from a previous marriage. I mean, they're all grown up now. I'll just point you to the house. I'm not going to take a drive. Up the street, but this is the street right here, and that's the house way up there. It was a quiet neighborhood, and as you can see, there's no real snow here. I mean, they're, they're away from the coast, they're probably in about 20 miles, so they do get a little more snow than what we get on the coastline, but all that white stuff on the road is salt. It's not snowflakes. I mean, there is some snow along here, but all that white stuff is salt. take the back road in here to the city again on a weekday if it wasn't for Christmas this highway would be would be not bumper to bumper but it would be a good flow of traffic here it's it's the alternative route to come into the city other than the four-lane highway that I was on earlier going out to my son's place I don't often drive this road because I don't go outside the city that often Getting closer to the city now. We are in the city boundary. Uh, Land-wise, it, it's, it's a big city land-wise. But population-wise, no. We have about, oh, 70,000 in the city itself and outlying in bedroom communities. It brings it up to about 125, 130,000 people live here. So not a huge city by any means. the dog parks here right now we're in sort of suburbia here 
there's streets that come off of here and then streets off of the streets and then there's more streets and more streets and there's quite a quite a community of houses in there hard to see from this road here And the one time of the year when almost every store is closed, there are a few gas stations and convenience stores open, but even Tim Hortons closes on Christmas.